Hey everybody, I'm Jeremy, aka Riot Brightmoon, the lead producer for gameplay on League of Legends. I am so excited to welcome all of you to the start of season 2021. Today I'm going to talk about some of the recent updates we've made to help you get ready for this new season, as well as some of the things we're working on that we haven't released yet. So let's get to it. This preseason, we've completely revamped League's item system to keep the game's foundation strong as it continues to evolve. Deciding which items to buy is part of your path to victory in every game. And item choices, stats, and effects should be clear and understandable. So we took a look at every item and talked about what was working well and what we could improve. Some items haven't changed much, but we've removed some others and added some new picks all to make sure that each item has a clear and unique purpose in the game. One problem we especially wanted to solve was that most of the time, earning a powerful item just wasn't very rewarding. Getting your first big item should feel impactful, and champions of every playstyle should have multiple choices to be excited about. So we've added Mythics, a new item class with a powerful effect that shaped the way you play each game. These open new strategic options and give you more control on how you want to play. And because Mythics are so powerful, you can only have one at a time, so choose wisely. Another area we focused on was the shop itself. We've wanted to improve the shop for a long time, but the technology it was using was too old and fragile. We've completely rebuilt the shop with new tech and tons of improvements. For example, we've smartened up the recommended tab to make suggestions based on what high-level players are building and which items are good against the enemy team. So if you're worried about having to relearn items, don't panic. The new shops got your back. Updating such a foundational system is going to have a big impact on the game. So we're keeping a close eye on balance and what everyone is building, especially in these first few months. Thank you to all the players who have been giving us feedback along the way, and please keep it coming. Because like the rest of League, the item system will continue evolving over time. In addition to the item system overhaul, we're making some changes to Ranked to prep for this season. So before you get started on the climb, which by the way, you can do today, let's take a look at what's new. We know it's been frustrating to win streak into promos only to go one and two when the stakes are high. So we're removing promotion series between divisions. You'll still go through promos between tiers, like from silver to gold, but otherwise it's smooth climbing. This means that you'll no longer have demotion protection between divisions, but you'll still have that buffer once you reach a new tier. We also know that starting a new season just to grind back up to where you finished the previous one can feel a little tedious. So we've adjusted the way that provisionals work. This year, you should start your climb closer to where you ended. And for all of us sweaty hopefuls, Master Tier and above unlocks immediately with the new rank season which means the race to be first in Challenger is open today. There's still a minimum LP requirement for Grandmaster and Challenger, but no more waiting two weeks for it to unlock. It's ready now, if you are. Finally, we've been making some improvements to matchmaking and player behavior features. Over the past six months, we've been improving our detection and punishment of players who quit or intentionally ruin the game for others. While we still have a lot to do, we've been able to improve detection of players intentionally feeding by 40%. And we're also seeing meaningful decreases in players AFKing in games. But even if it's happening less, when it does happen, it can be really frustrating. So one of the big highlights we've recently shipped is LP mitigation. So now you don't lose as much LP when someone on your team AFKs and ranked. And players who leave will also lose more LP for abandoning their team. We'll talk more about our additional plans here soon, as we hope to make more changes that encourages everyone to work together to get to that victory screen. It was a long time coming, but I'm happy to say that we've had a great first year of Clash. Over 28 million players played Clash in 2020, and we want to keep that momentum going. This year, we want to make sure that everyone who wants to play Clash can participate. So we're looking at improvements to the Free Agent tab. Right now, a group of four can find their missing player, but we're also exploring a way for Free Agents to find themselves a team. We're also going to test running Clash tournaments during the week, so that those of you who work weekends will still have your shot at glory. Or going 0-3 like I usually do. Although I swear I have won a Clash once. 
The first Clash tournament of 2021 starts next weekend. We know it'd be a little much to finish all of your placements before then. So for this tournament only, you don't need to be placed in ranked. Looking further towards the future, we want to focus on improving the systems that exist around the game. And let me tell you, League has a lot of these. Ranked, Honor, Summoner level, Champion Mastery, Event Passes, you get the point. Needless to say, there's a lot going on, and it doesn't always feel like things are working together. Spending time in League should feel meaningful, no matter how you're doing it. And we want to bring all these complex systems together in a way that gives you clear progress and rewards for everything that you do. We also want to recognize your personal accomplishments and playstyle and show them off to other players. So whether it's flexing on your friends with your rank, celebrating your skin collection of your favorite champion, or just how many champs you have Mastery 7 on, we want the way you play to feel meaningful and easy to show off. Now, we're still in early development on all this, but we'll share more later this year. Now, good luck with your climb in ranked, your rerolls in ARAM, and snatching that Clash trophy with your friends. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing all of you on the Rift.